Hey everyone, this is Fidel Hacker AJ Raven, and in this video, we are going to try and solve a question if you guys can read it. This is a question that students from that are learning computer engineering tend to tend to be given in their first semester. I have my cousin over on my left, and you might have seen him in my previous videos. So the question is: if you were to construct an 8x8 chess board, how many squares within that chessboard would there be in total? So on the right, you guys can see that we have this eight by eight chessboard, which means that there's eight columns and eight rows. So now my cousin Shahir is going to explain to you guys how you can come up with the answer about how many squares there are actually are in this eight by eight chessboard. So Shahir. So basically, uh, when we see an eight by eight chessboard, we only see that there are 64 blocks in total, right? It's one, two, and then there's 64 in total. But if you see it more carefully, you can see more squares being constructed within this eight by eight chessboard. Like if you join two rows and two columns like this, you can see there's another new square over here. Just like that, we can construct a three by three, four by four, five by five, and so on to eight by eight that it is itself. Now the thing is that we need to calculate how many total squares there actually are. So we do this, that we calculate how many uh, squares are constructed, are being constructed in a row and in a column if we go by two by two. You should see it's one, it's two, it's three, four, five, six, and seven. Just like that, if we go down there or just like this, if we go straight, there will be seven like this in rows and seven in columns. So we can say that if we have seven in our row and seven in our column, so if we multiply it, we will get our 49 squares as an answer of two by two dimension. Just like that, if we go three by three dimension, we can see, you, as you can see, that it's one. Then if you go that, this is two. Just like this, if you go, there was six one, six in the row and six in the column. So you can see six in the row and six in the column. Now the touch six squares. If you go on so that each time you and you go, the number of squares decrease. So by when you go four by four, there'll be five in the row and the five in column, 25 squares, and you go five by five. As you can see, there is a relation in it that goes like n minus one. Each time you go up, your number, total number decreases. n minus one, you can say that. And uh, it's a four by four, 16, then uh, yeah, this dimension. And this is your total number of squares. Go total these number square you get 204 squares you can write it just like whatever you want to uh, this this is your main answer to the question so the thing is that you need to keep your eyes open how you see the picture all the trick lies in the picture when you get to see the picture clearly you can see the various number of possibilities being formed in it and because the question was within the chessboard, now if, the, if your question doesn't actually state within that this entire outline can be a square, can this be considered a square as well? Yes, it can be because it is it itself says that it's an 8 by 8, like it, it goes 8 like this and goes 8 like this. So, so this outline, this is, boundary itself is a square. Is, it is itself is a square. So make sure that you guys read the question because in this Careful. question it was mentioned within. If there's no within and your teacher asks you this question, then there's a chance that the outline of the chessboard itself is a square too. 
So anyway, if you guys have any questions, let us know down in the comment section below. And here's to hoping that my cousin was able to answer this question in, an, in a manner that you could understand. So anyway, until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed, and we'll see you guys later.